Hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. I'm going to be bringing you a pop-up card featuring a brand new Art impression stamp set that is adorable. So the stamp set I'm using today is the Feline set and it does come with the coordinating dies. So here you can see the stamp set on the right and the dies. I'm going to choose two images from this set that I can stamp down onto Nina White cardstock for Copic coloring. My plan is to make a pop-up card and on the front of the card will feature this cat here who looks like he's having a really fun time having a party, probably totally stimulated by catnip. And the other cat who is now crashed down onto the cake, he's going to be on the inside. And this cat is what's going to be the pop-up feature. So I colored both images, like I mentioned, with Copic markers. And the cow on the right was pretty simple. I just used a few brown colors. And then on the cake cat, I'm going to actually add a lot of bright, happy rainbow colors for all the candles. And the cake will end up being a chocolate cake. For the chocolate, I picked out a few E markers here, E37, E33, and E31. Making sure to leave some nice highlight areas for that nice, shiny chocolate icing. I have the coordinating dies all set here and I'm going to pick out the ones that I need for my images. You'll also notice I stamped and colored a party hat which will end up being on the brown cat's head. I'm going to tape down my dies before I run them through my die cut machine so that way they don't shift as I run them through. I've also die cut three circles from Simon's to stamp white cardstock. You'll see why in a second. On one of these circles, I'm going to ink blend some color. So I'm going to use Distress Oxide ink in Tumble Glass and Peacock Feathers. I'm using blending brushes to apply that ink. As I'm blending, I'm making sure to keep the darkest color along the bottom of the circle. And then I'm fading it out as I go towards the top. I'm also going to use the new Detail Swirls Plate. It's a new die from Simon Says Stamps Love You Collection. And I've cut this from my circle. It's going to create that really nice swirl stitching. I thought it'd be really fun for a party finish. Now this is going to be the inside of our pop-up. I need to create the base of our card, so I'm going to score a fold line. So I'm going to go ahead and score a fold line on that circle. I'm going to add tape across the top edge of the circle, so that way this can get attached to the other end of the card base. This is the front of our card. I'm going to take one of those three circles here and put some adhesive on it and then sandwich that together with the ink blended background. So when this opens up, you're going to have the front of the card and then it opens up to the inside where we have that beautiful blended background and then this folded piece will get attached down onto the blended background and this is going to be the inside of the card. So here you can see how this works. So I have all of this put together and our card base is ready to go. But now we need the pop-up element. The pop-up element is just a simple little piece of cardstock. It doesn't need to be any particular size. I think mine's about an inch and a half. And I'm just going to add some score lines at a quarter of an inch on either side of this square. And you can see then I have a total of three score lines, two on each end and one in the middle. This is so that I can fold this piece and then attach it to both my card base and the cat which will allow it to pop up off of my card. You can see how this little square is supposed to look once you have all the score lines and it folded together. So I'm attaching it first to my cat and then I'll use another piece of double sided tape to attach this down onto the card base. I'm making sure to line it up along the inside of the card so that way it almost looks as if it's sitting on the card itself. So here you can see how this pop-up looks. Look how he's floating off of the back of the card. It looks really cool. And this is really fun because this is a very simple card project that you can make with pretty much any stamp set you have. So now we need to decorate the rest of the card. For the card front, I did blend a background using just a few colors of Distress Oxid ink, and I die cut a happy birthday sentiment from our Simon Says Stamp Happy Birthday Script die and I've used holographic cardstock to cut that die out. I'm also going to glue down my cat and also the party hat onto his head. This is going to finish off the front of the card other than a few sequins. On the inside of the card, I need to add a sentiment. There's some great sentiments in the feline stamp set, and so I'm going to stamp two of them down onto the inside of the card, 
and this is going to pair up really nice with the happy birthday on the front and then the cat on the inside popped up. So here you can see how this is all coming together. Like I said, the last bit of finishing touches were to add some sequins. So I pulled out these rainbow holographic sequins from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to glue some to the inside and also to the front of the card. Yes, this does make it slightly bulkier than if you were to skip this step, but I really like how this turned out. I also wanted to make sure that that icing looked super, super moist. So I decided to add a little bit of glossy accents over top of that icing. And once this dries, this creates a really nice dimensional icing effect. All right, so here's the front of our card with that beautiful background blended there. The detail swirls pattern con continuing on not only the front, but also the inside when you open it up. And of course that great pop-up detail simply by adding that little square of cardstock with a few score lines made a pop-up card super easy to put together. I hope you will try out this technique not only with the new feline stamp set from Art Impressions, but maybe you have some products in your crafty stash that would allow you to do the same exact technique because this technique can be used for pretty much any image. I hope you were inspired by today's project and that you'll subscribe to our channel for additional inspiration. I'll be back soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope you have a very wonderful day. Bye!